reason why you should not be paying your rent, girl, when you the I headmaster have, in no, these streets. I have been, right? I listen, I've been, I've been, I have not asked y'all for no studio rent in a long time. I've been holding it down. I had to pay my car note last week, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but other than that, I would have had the money. Oh, come on now, y'all know. I, when last have I asked y'all for studio rent? Let's keep it real. Listen, Kenny. And I'm only $200 in the listen, whole thing. Listen, hold on, Kenny, hold okay, on. Okay, I'm listening. You better get that head. You better get that head together. Go, 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 go,
But I, I'm I'm working on me. And let me tell y'all another thing. The child may be proud of me is. I'm so proud Darrell, of y'all. Let me I, I tell y'all this. Additional to what I had to do, this is what really put a dent in my pocket. Darrell, I finally got me. I had to pay out of pocket some real eyeglasses. Okay, I got some re and I what? yeah I I was gonna bring them on the show, but I said now nah, they'll make fun of me because their lens is a is bigger than what I thought they were gonna be. But I had to pay for my eye exam out of pocket, and I had to pay for my frame. So that put it because I you know I don't have any uh the the insurance I have it doesn't cover my eye and, and dental or what have you. I only cover doctor okay. visit, and I still have to pay. Your VXP well, I still have to pay a fifty dollar coke. Pay if I go to see a doctor, you know. So, but, but, but it is. go get you, go get you a VXP vision uh, plan. Mm -hmm. It's like twenty some dollars a month. What do I, I have insurance? I, I I won't say what insurance I got, but it does not cover uh, vision and my and, and dental. So I have a good insurance. That's, what I'm, that's you know, why I'm telling you to go get you a vision plan. And, and it's like twenty dollars a month. Seriously, that's what I got. I well, you know, Durell, I'm I just, I I, well, I, well, Durell, I'm just not getting into getting real glasses. The prayer that I got okay. now, I did not know, and this is what's crazy, Durell, because when I went and got my eyeglasses after I did the eye exam, they let you pick out and they tell you what area to pick out, and this is no tea, no shade. And so I had picked out like uh -huh. three, three frames. And so I said, well, ma'am, could you, after I got the frames in my hand, she said, well, these are the ones you want to look at. She said, there's a mirror over there. I said, yeah. I said, but ma'am, one thing. And she said, yes, Mr. Lee. I said, well, where, uh -huh. are, the, where are the prices? Well, Durell, I didn't know uh -huh. that the prices were was written in the corner of the glass. And so when I seen uh -huh. 318, 295, I thought those was the numbers of the order of the frames. I said, oh, hell no, nah, ma'am. I said, oh, you need to get me to another. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't believe it. The red, I was like, you know what? So, ma'am, this so is not what I'm trying to do. She took you over there. She took you over there with a goddamn... Uh 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 government assistance frames in. Well, she right? she had to bring me down to the two hundred or lower, and I'm not gonna lie, but the frames that I got, they were still two fifteen, and they're and actually they are so nice. They are actually see through frames on the uh, ear part. I mean, they're they're really nice, but they're just a little well, bit too big than what I thought it. they were. But and so and now but this sure is the you thing. Take care of them. But watch this, the real, and you can probably tell me this, and we're gonna get this show started. Why would I put them motherfuckers on? Because I picked them up on Friday. Darrell, when I picked up them damn frames, what about, it was like I was seeing double digits. I'm like, so what the you fuck? Your eyes, your eyes gotta get adjusted to them. But, hold on. Now, mm -hmm. so what about the Delta insurance being that's more important See, than them motherfucking Durell, eyes? We not, Durrell, we, Durell, we Durell, work, Durrell, Durrell, Durell, Durell Durrell, 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 we yeah, work. Durrell, let me get my show. You know what? Durrell, I'm about to ride out. Let me get my show started. Okay, I'm, I'm about sorry. to ride I'm out. Sorry. Now, I'm let's sorry. say one thing I'm at sorry. a time. Now, Durrell, I got to ask you a serious question. Because every time I put the frames right. on, it's like I'm seeing double digits or whatever. So, how long will it take for me to kind of get it, it used to take, them? It'll take you probably, honestly, normally takes me about a week, maybe. Maybe about a week to get adjusted to a new prescription. It don't take long. So do I need to wear them every day? Yeah, you need to. Yes. So you will never. I mean, it'll, it'll just take you long to get adjusted to them. You know, okay. kind of like you need. Like you wear your invisible lines every uh -huh. day. Your invisible lines every day. Mm -hmm. You have to wear your glasses like that too. Otherwise, they don't work. And you ain't been wearing them invisible lines. So them teeth is fucked, bitch. <laughs> Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the Y'all, come on, y'all. We here early tonight. Bring them out, bring them out. Look, y'all, I need y'all to hit the cash shop one time. I got to pay my studio rent. Come on, y'all. Going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so? Come on, talk to me. Hey, going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so? Come on, talk to me. Hey, we going live. We going live. We going, we going, we going live. Hey, going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so? Come on and talk to me. Hey, going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so? Come on and talk to me. Hey, we going live. We going live. Oh, what we doing, y'all? Bring them out, bring them out. Come on, y'all. 
Retweeted. Darrell is a damn fool, y'all. Going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so come on? It's out to me. Hey, going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so come on? It's out to me. Hey, we going live. We going live. We going, we going, we going live. Hey, going live with Kenny Lee. Is that song so come on? It's out to me. Welcome in, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to one of the most talked about shows on Instagram Live. And the phone lines is wide open at 915 201091, y'all. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. The phone line is wide open at 915 201091, y'all. Earlier today, we were talking about how all of these bloggers who are constantly getting paid for content that we give them, and they get paid for us. One of the most popular uh, bloggers who we've been talking about, and you all may know, uh, Lucky 13. Now, over the weekend, the Kenny Camp um, investigators did an did a investigation, and we kind of tally up um, uh, uh, how much these bloggers could potentially be making uh, as it relates to um, uh, these these different blogs. Well, uh, three of the blogs we we dug a little deep into their their pockets. Okay, in particular, Lucky Thirteen. Now here is the deal: Lucky Thirteen makes right at five grand a year a, 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 a month. He's been doing that for the last past three years. We tallied up possibly how much money could he owe to some of your favorite Instagram stars. And we started out with Shamar. Now he owes Shamar more than $3,000, you all. Tommy, the gossip who you all know very well, he owes him $2,500. Exclusive who you all know, he owes him $1,500. And while I must admit, he also owed me, myself, Kenny Lee, more than $750. Now, he also owned Ken No Barbie and a few other uh, social media Instagram influencers as well. Uh, this is the thing. Tell y'all people to post their own content on their own YouTube page so that they can get paid themselves. And I'm doing just that. Okay, now I must say uh, Surviving the Internet uh, is also a good blogger. But Surviving the Internet comes over and get Kenny Lee a two in the few. Okay, so, that that and I don't have a problem with that. But you got some of these bloggers like Lucky 13 who see these people out here, these influencers out here suffering. Can't pay their phone bill, can't pay their light bill. Why not? You know you're getting a check for them every month. And I found Found out that Lucky 13s with many other social media uh, uh, YouTubers get paid on the 22nd of every month. You know, I don't understand why Lucky 13 ain't never sold a seed into Shamar. Ain't never gave Tommy the Gospel a few dollars. Ain't never gave exclusive knowing exclusive lost his job. Would it been something for you to say exclusive? He go a hundred dollars. You know, I know you going through. I'm making money off you on YouTube. I mean, let's just wake this shit up, y'all. You know, I don't understand. You know, we this is all entertainment. But at the same time, if you're going to block these people and you're getting a check for them, you know your black ass ain't doing nothing but screen recording and uploading it. Why not pay these people? Why not grease their palm every now and then? I mean, I just think that is absolutely ridiculous. And then for you to get up and get on your page and say, oh, Kenny Lee can't spell, bitch, your mama can't spell, ho. Because when I put shit out, I do it with my goddamn phone hole and I let the shit rip and look at it later, bitch. One thing about it, the people automatically know, and sometimes I don't spell the whole word out, bitch, because the people I already know what the fuck I'm trying to say. So mind your motherfucking business. See, I come to realize one thing, y'all. Lucky 13 likes the girls, okay? No. Not you girls. He like the girls, okay? Yeah, yeah. He likes the girls. I I couldn't be with a man who sits up and watch a sissies live and upload them. Uh, you see, you you got to double watch him to upload him, okay? You know, I, but, but I know what's up with Lucky 13. He likes the girls, and there's nothing wrong with liking the girls. But Lucky, you need to pay the girls, okay? And you need to pay the girls, okay? You know, it, it's just, it, it disturbs me when I know people like Lucky 13 who has made good money off of this platform and has not even sold a mother. He, you know what, y'all? For my anniversary last year, that bitch sent me five motherfucking dollars. Do y'all hear me? Five motherfucking dollars. That's a goddamn shame. So after talking to Lucky 13, y'all, and busting his ass out during the afternoon show, Lucky agreed to paying me $3 a week. You know, I said, okay, Lucky. I said, let's do $5. Well, he got upset, y'all, and decided, well, now, 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 
We ain't going to do the goddamn $5. We're going to do $2. He just kept going down. You know what, y'all? The phone lines is wide open at 901 You all can talk about that or you all can talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about because the phone lines is wide open, y'all. Ain't this a goddamn sh- Ain't this some damn bullshit? Woo, these goddamn bloggers ought to be ashamed of they goddamn. Yeah, he told me $3 a week. You know, it would take forever to pay me my $750, Lucky. It would take forever. Come on now. I'm the lowest at the barrel. But goddamn, Shamar, you know his situation. Why you can't throw him a two in the field? Call a welcome in. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm good, big daddy. Question for you, Kim. Okay. Um, I'm feeling kind of down, my man. He been cheating with a trans on me, and I just don't know what to do. I oh. see that he got kids, he got a wife, and I'm just, I'm just down. I'm pissed off. Wait a minute. Now, you say he got kids and got a wife. Are you? Is is you the wife? <laughs> No, I'm the trans. His wife don't know that he's messing around with me, and he just he just around and he giving me money, and I want more with him. But he got a wife and kids. Let me tell you something, baby. If he giving you money, you better take that money, enjoy that dick, and don't say a motherfucking word. Sit in the goddamn backseat of the car. As long as he greasing your palms. Baby, giving you what you want to, don't say you ain't you can't get no more than what you got. He got a wife and he got some kids. Let that down, little brother. Continue to be down. Suck that dick. Let oh, he that pay all my bills. He pay all my bills. And you gonna bills. fuck it up if you let his wife know? Don't I wish I don't say a word. Get out your feelings and think about the motherfucking money. Do you hear me? Think about the money. <laughs> fuck how it turn out. Look. Feed him with a long hat of spoon, but don't tell his wife a goddamn thing, okay? You better enjoy that goddamn money. I don't know what to do. Girl, don't cry over no goddamn nigga. He got a wife? Hell no. Fuck that shit. Oh, my God. Uh-uh. Baby, get that nigga money. Get that nigga money. Fuck how I tell you. Get out of your feelings. Make sure that nigga keep paying your bills. Love you, baby. And send me a two and a few on the goddamn cash shop. Call a welcome in. Hey, nephew. Hey, Tina. What's going on? Oh, I'm looking how to save the baby. How about your feel? I can't complain. I can tell you now. Your hair looks beautiful, and you look real nice up there. I'm so proud of you. You on time. I'm so 